guys, John here, Motor T Scale Models, and we're going to take a look at what's going to go on the bench next. And we are going to build the Revell 1971 Olds 442 W30. This is a 125th scale, it's a level 5. And it is, looks like it's going to be a pretty good kit. Um, this was manufactured, it looks like in 2022. So it's a pretty new kit. I'm sure it's a, it's, you know, a reproduction. But it looks like it's got some pretty good uh, parts to it. So I know some people have done this one quite a bit. So we're going to open it up and kind of see what's on the inside just real quick. And go from there so let's take a look and see what we have inside hold on just a second i'll be right back. all righty so the first thing we'll look at is we have the clear the uh windshields and the headlights and tail lights so we're going to leave those in the package um, next thing is going to be the body which it appears to be uh packaged by itself. I mean, not by itself, but with the tires. There we go. Okay, so we'll take a look at the body real quick. And the body looks like we'll have to do a little bit of uh, panel lines. Maybe deepen those up a little bit. But other than that, it looks really good. There's no flashing. Um, nice clear uh, or nice lines to it it'll be pretty nice and then we got the wheels and they are what they are they're just the wheels alrighty and then we have what's inside this bag so let's take all this stuff out and take a look we have the lower chassis some good detail on it. Muffler is going to be separate, so I like that. You have looks like maybe two versions of axles, rear axles, and springs. I'm going to take a look, see what the difference in those are. This right here may be raised a little bit, I'm not for sure. Differential covers. It looks like you had a custom differential cover there. Um, some more springs. Maybe a motor or transmission cross member. A couple different motors here. I'm sorry, a couple different transmissions. So you probably have a manual and you have a standard, whichever you prefer. All right. A lot of engine parts. Kind of impressed with that. A lot of different engine parts. More engine parts here. Two different air cleaners. I guess for whichever size or whichever motor you're going to go with. Then you have your hood and hood hinges. So, alrighty. This is a big bag. We're going to open it up real quick. See what's in oh I see what it is okay which well, this is fantastic I didn't realize you could do this but anyway we have the the dash two different consoles you have your standard and then your automatic it goes like this standard automatic got your clutch and stuff so good deal good deal all right some uh, firewall Steering column, battery. Maybe wheel backings. Not sure. Check into that a little bit more. So apparently, this might, we might be able to make this into a convertible. I don't know. That's pretty weird. Rear spoiler. Headliners, mirrors, interior door panels, bucket seats, and then 
your sub interior components. Got a chrome. Like, like something was clipped off this. Alright. So, hold on just a second. Alright, so we have our decals here. And you know, it's got Firestone um, wheel de or tire decals. I like that. You can use a black or white stripe. And you've got the interior wood grain. So, real nice decal sheet. Uh, looking forward to getting in and using that. Let's take a look at the instructions real quick. All right, typical Revell instructions. All right. Good detail on the instructions. Really like that. Breaks down just about everything. So yeah, it looks like you have two different rear or uh, yeah rear axles and springs. So that's probably going to be the difference on that. Um, yeah. So if you go with the factory four or W27 performance option, or you can change out and use those. Alrighty. Okay, so it looks like it may give you the option, the the uh, cover for the convertible if this could be made into convertible, but it doesn't show that it is. So uh, anyway, we're going to build this kit, and I had a color in mind for it, and was talking to my wife about it, and she told me that uh, possibly another color I may use so I'm not sure on the color yet but uh, we'll get into it we'll figure it out all right guys we'll talk to you later hey guys <clears throat> all right so let's see where we're at so far so I've managed to do the the engine and the transmission and it went together really good uh, so I'm kind of happy with it it went together Pretty daggum easy. Uh, everything worked out really well. So that's good to go. <clears throat> I've got my tires partially done. I've still got to do the uh, white lettering. But they turned out pretty good as far as uh, getting the blue inside the, the little area there. Uh, it was a bit tricky, but I managed to uh, do it pretty good. Uh, watch some of videos of some guys out there um doing this 442 and kind of got some of the ideas how they did it um so it's helped out quite a bit so that's why i like um uh, kind of watching your guys' techniques and trying them out and seeing how they work so i've got that part done we've got the uh the body painted let me see if i can adjust this there we go so i think the body Came out pretty good. Um, still got a little bit more work to do, uh, but this is this is just the first couple coats that I got on there. And uh, same thing on the hood. So I think it turned out really well. And then we've got the the chassis or the sub chassis, whatever you want to call it, done. And I went ahead and. Uh, did up the front controller arm and I got the rear axle and, and uh, shocks and stabilizers all done up so uh, they're able to go right into place I haven't obviously haven't glued them in yet but worked out really well so uh, oh and uh, got the interior part done I still gotta tape this off. I'm gonna paint the seats white. Um, I haven't painted this yet, so I'll tape it off, give it a good paint, and go from there. 
but uh, other than that I think it looks pretty good where we're at so far um, like I said get the motor set up in there there we go anyway so I may have that motor sitting too far back. There we go. Now she sits in there. All right. Now I did notice on the instructions sheet, you guys may have saw the same thing. Um, when it's talking about the rear axles, it mentions parts 66 and 67 are used for the factory W27. Um, you know, this is a W30, so I don't know if that was a misprint or what. I don't see W30 anywhere on here, but anyway, um, I went with the W30, so uh, got it set up. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to continue working on this, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we've got the wires all done up on the motor, and they turned out pretty good. Um, pretty pleased with them so uh, we are going to continue on um, it's all looking pretty pretty good so far we're going to continue on and uh, finish up some more all right guys hang on all right guys so finished up the 1971 Oldsmobile Cutlass W30 and this kit was a pleasure to build. Everything went together really, really well. Uh, didn't have any fitment issues at all. Um, really enjoyed putting this kit together. Again, um, you know, my, my thought was to go with the copper color, but the wife told me that the blue would look a lot better, and I do have to kind of agree with her. I do believe that the blue would look the blue does look better so um, it all went together pretty good had a little hiccup right up there with the uh, little bit of glue kind of coming through I do use white glue um, but I couldn't get it to attach up there so I ended up going with a little bit of uh, super glue and it just kind of faded through but oh well you know it is what it is so um, again the kit Turned out extremely well. Uh, everything went together pretty good. Uh, as you can see, it, it went together extremely well. So, very pleased with the kit. I do recommend anybody that wants to uh, build a kit. Uh, this is one that you should try. Uh, the, the hardest part, I would have to say, was these stripes right here. Getting those on, as you can tell, they're they're not quite lined up exactly the way they should be but they were a bear uh, to get on this side over here is a little bit better um, I saw a video where somebody talked about they cut the the uh, decal in half uh, but it didn't do any better uh, it was hard for them to uh, kind of line everything up so I went ahead and tried it with the uh, the straight or the, the whole decal and it, it was bare but you just had to take a little bit of time um so anyway um i recommend this kit to anybody that wants to uh, build a kit i think it's a it's a fun kit and it is an awesome looking vehicle um i may end up building one a little bit later on and going with the copper color uh, but i do agree this is the blue really stood out quite a bit so Anyway, uh, I do think I might have got the sport a little far up on the back of it um, now that I look at it, but oh well. Uh, it'll work. So anyway, guys, uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you uh, enjoy the video, um, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming and checking it out. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button. 
hit the notification button so you'll be advised of uh, future videos. Uh, if you are a current member, thank you very much for all your love and support. I appreciate you guys, and we will check you on the next build.